as the population continues to grow, we need to be able to provide energy cheaply and reliably to everybody across the entire world. That's why I've always been a chemical engineer is because we are kind of process problem solvers and so my passion has turned into you know, working on problems to help a variety of different types of people from all different cultures and backgrounds. And if you find that passion, then you'll be able to succeed at what you want to do. And so my passion has turned into, you know, doing research that can help both energy and food production. And the great thing about this particular research is that it solves a couple different processes and it involves everything from just taking carbon dioxide and going to something you could use. So it's great to have fuel that we could make ourselves all the time, wherever we need it. Some people like algae for fish feed, especially in um, developing countries. And they can build up their aquaculture network within their own country and be a little bit more self-sustaining. So we're really trying to like push the edge on new technologies that allow for more highly productive systems. And it's just really cool to see that we can make some progress and solve some problems. And there's not many systems that are kind of the whole package. So I think that's why it's so important to continue to work on it.